you know, finally something happened. Yeah. Sometimes like a trade happens and Mm -hmm. you don't understand it. And you say, well, I'm sure there are more details that'll come out. (laughs) That'll make it make more sense. And then you go to sleep and you wake up the next morning and you're like, nope, that's them's the details. Them's the details. And so I want to start by just saying congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks. Yes. John Horst, who I've called you affectionately John Ham in the past. Uh, <laughs> they they did it, man. Giannis, shout out to you too. You 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 flexed and they felt your flex and they went out and got you what I believe to be the perfect compliment. If you look at what Milwaukee yeah. has gone through, this is exactly what they needed. They needed a closer, they needed someone who can create his own shot and create shots for others. They they needed Damian Lillard. So again, outstanding work. If you're the the Milwaukee Bucks to say, "Hey, what did we give up? We gave up Drew Holiday and uh a first round pick in 2029, which is not that far away." And a who couple knows of- who knows if the league's even going to exist? Who knows if any of us will be here in 2029? I mean, like it's it's brilliant work all and, around. And pick swaps, like you, you yeah. basically sent away a distant future. Uh, but not really, because in pick swaps, you're basically you're you're betting, you're betting on hey, I think I'll still be better than you, right? When 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 you send picks, you lose a pick. With a pick swap. You're trading, so if that other team is still worse than you are, obviously the swap won't happen because they have the the right of control. So it's like, well, then all I gave up was a first-round pick. And Drew Holiday, who, as I said on Levitard show yesterday, has someone who's openly talked about retirement in the last couple of years. For Damian Lillard, one of the best closers and a perfect compliment to your team. I cannot stress enough how great Milwaukee made out in this deal. To a lesser extent, I think Phoenix did amazing as well. This is what I don't think the general public realizes. Aiton and the Suns, that relationship was toast and had been toast for quite a while. They're at a place where they're competing for something where they can't afford to wait for him to figure it out. In the same way that the Warriors traded away James Wiseman, right? Like, he might be great down the line, but we're trying to win a championship right now, and he's not Mr. Right Now for us. Nurkic is. Nurkic is a guy who's a better defensive player, who's tougher, who's a better rebounder, a better passer, right? So all those things for them is what they need right now. Aiton might grow grow up to be the next Joel Embiid. He might not also. Like, there's a lot of signs of immaturity there. So for the Suns, they're saying, okay, we gave up a second round, a a guy who was our second round pick, uh, and we gave up um, a player who we're not enamored with at this point and isn't enamored with us and we went out and got us a win now guy who's got a much better contract right so Suns win bucks massive win portland what are y'all doing what are y'all doing portland as it wakes up today because again i think you could have had Aiton with nurkic anyway all you have to do is just work out the money but nurkic for Aiton was a deal that could have happened on any day of the week with Phoenix. So as you wake up today, Portland, you say, I got Drew Holiday, who's flirted with retirement. I got a first round pick and two swaps versus Jovich, who's a zillion years younger, three first round picks, multiple seconds and multiple pick swaps. There's no universe in the world where you can tell me this is not a spite deal. Yo, you tell us, we'll show you. But as I've said from the very beginning, it's not about helping Dame or doing Dame a solid. It's about doing what's best for your organization. And there's no way you wake up today, unless you tell me you got a Drew Holiday deal for like Paul George on the table or something like that. There's no way you wake up today and you tell me, oh, we got a better, this is a better package. It just doesn't make sense. Well, that's what I'm wondering. What it makes me wonder is, is there a Drew Holiday deal? Is they, Do they have like a bunch of first round picks for Drew Holiday lined up somewhere that we don't know about and it's going to come out later? But even so, the first, the first, the three first round picks they could have gotten from Miami and second rounders 
it just the 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 math isn't mathing as i think um the the children say these days um i also think i mean to me it it the bucks have proven to be a an organization that actually listens to its star player like it's so rare to me that i think an organization actually works as an organization should which is that Giannis came out and was like hey you're not serious people and the bucks were like oh no 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 sorry mm -hmm. we actually are we're gonna get you the greatest possible compliment mm -hmm. and i know that so much of this has been about the heat about whether it was the right thing to do or for portland for dame blah 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 but I feel like Dame is in a better position to win a championship now than he would have been with Jimmy and Bam in Miami. Well, Giannis is, if not the best player, top three in the league, right? Yeah. And, so and that's something Miami can't can't say they have. And but also Giannis is a guy who needs someone who can attack from the outside, create from the outside, and also make life easier for him. And that's why that that fit is so good.